Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm super excited to finally be filming this video. Um, I use these two palettes that have been highly, highly, highly anticipated slash raved about, and I'm pretty sure you guys kind of probably have an idea. They are the two Morphe palettes that recently came out. They are the Morphe 350S and 350M. So Morphe originally had created a palette called the 350, and it was full of like, basically let's call it the warm girl's dream so it was a palette full of warm tones mixed with both matte and shimmers literally sold out every time it came back in stock and recently morphe created these two palettes um the 350m which stands for the 350 basically just all matte shades dream come true and then on top of that they went and released the 350s which is the 350 little baby sister except all shimmer so basically they released an all matte and all shimmer palette amazing beautiful warm neutral tones it's just they're both stunning and i finally got them in i've been super busy so i was unable to really play around with eyeshadow and makeup as much as i wanted to but today i finally had some time and i'm like so excited to share this video with you guys i wanted to show you guys what both of the palettes looked like before we just jumped into the tutorial so I'm going to show you guys, which one is this? 350S. Okay, so this one is the 350S. Ta-da! So this is what it looks like. They're all shimmer shades. Literally beautiful. So freaking pigmented. I cannot even begin to explain to you. Like, Morphe eyeshadows are beyond worth it. This palette was $22.99, and then you get an extra 10% off when you use, like, one of the really big YouTubers' um, discount code. So, there's so many, like, to choose from. I, you can literally Google, like, Morphe Brushes coupon code, and a million will come up. But, yeah, so it was $22.99. I got this. Um, they're just so freaking beautiful. I'm going to swatch a couple of the shades for you just to show you guys how freaking pigmented they really are. So, I swatched these shades. I kind of swatched them in a bad spot, but literally like try to get a little close um they are literally so freaking pigmented like oh just one freaking swipe and they were like bam in your face like oh beyond just beyond so these are the shades i swatched they are just so freaking like creamy and like easily to just like blend out like they're really really like soft to the touch and I just feel like for the price, they're so freaking worth it. Like, I can't even explain enough. Like, this is what they look like on my fingers, just in case the arm swatches were a little bit hard to see. But the pigment is there, guys. Like, oh, it is so worth it. So freaking worth it. Okay. So the next one I want to show you guys that I used um, is the 350M, which is basically the all matte version of the palette. So this is the 350M. Freaking Oh, it's just so, it's just stunning. Like, honestly, I don't even know. I The same price, $22.99. You can get an additional 10% off. So worth it. And I feel like Morphe keeps bringing them both back in stock. Like, it'll go out of stock for a little bit, and then they'll bring them back. So, I mean, you'll definitely have some luck getting them at some point, even if they're sold out right now. I didn't even check before making this video. But I'm going to swatch a couple of these and show you guys. Okay, so these are some of the shades that I swatched from the 350M palette so you see they're super freaking like not even patchy one freaking swipe i did pack on a little bit um just so you guys can really see the pigment because i don't know if you know some of them will show up on my hand but oh my goodness guys and girls everyone out there you need this freaking palette 22.99 10 percent off yes but literally you guys have to freaking pick them up they are so pigmented Blend like a dream. I created this whole eye look using only these two palettes, which you guys will see soon. Um, but yeah, I kind of just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that they are so worth it. And even if these aren't in stock, you guys should definitely check out any of the other kinds of um, Morphe palettes that are on their site. Because I do have a, quite a few of them. Like I, I remember I purchased the Jaclyn Hill one. I purchased the 35T one. Like there are just there are so many different you know palettes that you can pick from so you don't only have to get these but these are definitely like really hyped up right now so i figured hey let me just get on here tell them a little bit about it before we just hop right into the video 
But yeah, I also used um, some new products as well in this um, video. I'm going to do a voiceover, so I'll let you guys know which products were new and I'll kind of try and let you know what I'm thinking of them. I mean, I don't want to say like, oh my God, I hate it or oh my God, I love it right off the bat, but you know how it is. I just want to see how I got this eye look that I'm wearing right here, then just keep watching. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to like thumbs up the video if you did like this video. And also don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I'd love for you guys to join the family. Hey, we got a lot of room here, guys. A lot of freaking room. All right, guys, so I'll see you in the video. Bye, guys. Hey, guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm just showing you guys the two palettes I'm going to be using. Um, I'm going to start off with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot right now. I'm going to prime the lids to get ready for this eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm going in with this bone, like yellowish bone shade. And I'm going to use this just to, um, you know, kind of set that paint pot since it is a little bit sticky-ish. Alright, now I'm going to go in with this like vanilla shade at the top of the Morphe 350M palette. And I'm going to use this shade just to highlight the brow bone. Alright, now I'm going in with this next shade from the 350M palette. I'm going to use this as a transition shade. And I'm going to bump at the same time. So yeah, just using this as a transition shade. Next shadow. Going to use this to kind of build up the outer corner of my eye. I was just kind of doing some circular motions in the outer corner here. Now I'm going in with this deeper shade and I'm going to build up the intensity in the outer corner a little more. Guys, these shadows are amazing. Literally so amazing. Blends so well. The pigment is amazing. The price is amazing. Couldn't say anything more. Alright, so now I'm going in with this orangey-ish shade just to kind of add somewhat of a little bit of color in my crease, as you guys can see. And I'm pretty much using the same brush like... Now I'm going in with this like yellowish toned color. Oh, okay, now 350S palette, which is my favorite part. I'm gonna be putting this color all over the lid. I first uh, put some Fix Plus just to intensify the shade as much as I could. And look at how beautiful, guys. Like, I just can't. I feel like I always say that. I'm like, I just can't. But no, seriously, I can't. It, it's just so beautiful. So right now I'm just packing that color on the lid and yeah okay going back with the 350m palette i'm going to be using the shade in the crease i was kind of trying to do like a sunset ish makeup tutorial makeup look here um but i ended up kind of just winging it after a while so i hope you guys like the way it turned out i just really wanted to use these palettes on camera so now i'm going back in with the darker color and i'm going to intensify the outer corner and I'm also adding a little bit in the inner corner to kind of make it like a sandwich look. I love these kinds of looks because then that one shade in the center just stands out and it just looks so beautiful. So now I'm going in with this next like brown, light brown shade in the crease. It kind of had an orangey tint also. So back with the lid shade, I'm going to apply some more since I lost a little bit before with the blending. Going to blend that all together, make it look seamless. Now I'm just wiping up the corners to kind of clean up the eyeshadow. And I'm going to go in with my Tarte Lash Curler, curl my lashes, and my Revlon Grow Luscious Lashes Mascara. Apply a few coats. I don't really use falsies, as you guys already know. So I just apply a ton of mascara and use my lash curler like it's my job. No big deal. Alright, so now I'm going in with this ColourPop eyeliner. I don't have the exact name, but it will be listed down below. I just don't have it in front of me right now. I'm just going to line my waterline. I am so obsessed with these liners, guys. Like, look at how beautiful and what a pop of color it gave. Like, six bucks, you cannot go wrong. Time to start with the face. I'm going in with my Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer. Applying that all over the skin. This is my favorite primer right now, guys. Now I'm going in with my NARS um, Sheer Glow Foundation. I'm in the shade Tahoe. Going to apply this with my Beauty Blender per usual. 
and this is one of my tried and true foundations I always go back to it and it's just so amazing and getting ready to music is my thing guys if you can't already tell so I'm just kind of blending that in all over the skin and now I'm gonna go in with my Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay. I'm in the shade Medium Neutral. So I'm just applying this in the, all the highlighted areas and I'm going to blend this out with my Beauty Blender. I honestly feel like I can't use anything but a Beauty Blender to like blend out my concealer. Like, do you guys feel the same way? Cause I just feel like it doesn't come out the same. So yeah, just blending that in with my Beauty Blender. And then I kind of just pounce it all around to make sure that everything blends in together. Now I'm going in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm going to set my under eye. And I've been using my Beauty Blender to do this also. I just feel like it works so good. Set the T-zone since it is summer. They gonna think I want a Grammy. So I know they can't stand me. All right, going in with my YSL bronzer. So I kind of like this bronzer. I ended up returning it because I just couldn't justify the price, but I'm kind of regretting it now, so I think I might go back and get it. I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update. But looking at it right now, even in this video, I do like the way it looks. I just felt like it wasn't prominent enough, so I had to go in with my Guerlain and kind of intensify it a little bit. Since this one never fails me, I just love this bronzer. And now I'm going in with my Becca blush. I believe it was Damselfly. Don't quote me, it'll be down below. And I'm just going to add a pinch of it on my cheeks. Add some color back into the face. Now I'm going in with my new favorite highlighter. It's the Urban Decay Highlighter in Sin. Like, look at that. Oh my gosh. Bomb. So I'm just applying that to the tops of my cheekbones with my Sigma highlighter brush. This is from their new collection, this brush, and it's such a good brush. And now I'm going to go and add some Fix Plus just to blend all those powders together. Give me that dewy look again. And I'm going to go back to the lower lash line. I'm going to go in with this shade and just kind of buff it into the lower lash line. I didn't want to go too dark because I wanted you to definitely be able to see that yellow. So now I'm just going to apply some mascara to my lower lashes. And yep, time for the lips. So I'm going with my Milani Spice Lip Liner. I love these lip liners, guys. They are amazing. They're so freaking creamy. So yeah, I'm just going to align my lips right now. I've been doing a little bit of overlining because I just want them to look a little bit more pouty. And now I'm going with my Anastasia Gloss in the shade Undressed. I'm going to apply that to my lips. And then this will be the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you do like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I love you guys so much. And also, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya. Mwah.